Uh, when? I started when I was five years old. Um, when I came to the United States. I came to the United States, I was looking for Taekwondo places because I started into martial arts. Couldn't find any, so I started boxing. And uh, ever since then, I just, you know, I liked it. You know, and I'm, a lot of kids, like, they try to bully me or whatever in school because I didn't know how to speak English or whatever at the time. So, you know, I, the only way I could defend myself is fighting. And so, you know, my dad took me to a boxing gym. They showed me, you know, hey, look, this is boxing. You know, don't get in fights outside the ring. You know, take, take all your frustrations and anger out in the ring, sparring or fight. You know, so that's what I liked about it the most. Um, to be honest, after my first fight, uh, when I, after I had my first fight, I mean, obviously I lost. You know, there's no amateur that goes having his whole amateur career without losing. But um, after I had my first fight, I won, and you know that kind of gave me a little bit more confidence in myself. And you know that's when I realized I was like, you know, I like this, and I want to do this, and this is for me. Uh, I did, you know, every every single uh, tournament uh, except uh, going to the Olympics. You know, I did every single tournament that was out there. I fought every time they had fights out in the Bay Area, or, you know, anywhere in California or anywhere. Actually, I fought Washington, uh, uh, Nevada. I fought everywhere. You know, we would just go everywhere to fight, and you know, it was fun for me because you know. Being a little kid, you get to travel, you know, and all that. So it's, it's fun, you know, and little kids, we don't win or lose. We didn't care, you know, we just wanted to go out for the trophy or the medal or whatever. And just being in there, you know, it gave me a little bit more confidence in myself because I was always a little, you know, shy. So, you know, it gave me a little bit of confidence. Uh, so far, it's treated me good. I mean, it's ha I've had my ups and downs, obviously, you know, and your career is not going to always be perfect. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been it's been fine, you know. I, I've got my fights in. I've look pretty good in all my fights, I think so. Uh, every fight, you know, I progress, you know, but it's, it's been treating me good. I want to get more fights and I want to get uh, more exposure and, you know, that time in the ring. But, you know, it's, it's boxing and anything can happen. It's just, it's, it, it takes time. Oh man, it's, it's my dream. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's, it's something that we've always strived for, you know, in, in my camps and my coaches, we've always been wanting to be the first world champion for my country and I always represent my country. You know, and that's that's like that's my dream. You know, being the first world champion, the first Uruguayan world champion, and that's that, that would be something really, really special for me. Oh, I'm very proud. You know, I'm proud of uh, my country. I'm proud, of spe especially you know my soccer team. I represent my soccer team to the fullest. You know, and I'm I'm proud of you know where I come from, who I am, and where my family's from, and I always represent it to the fullest. I always every time I fight, you see, every time I fight, I got my my country, my flag for my country, and my flag for my soccer team, you know, and I represent it all the time. Uh, five years from now, hopefully the first Uruguayan world champion.